So, I am... <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. So right now, today's video is just like going to be what I eat during a day. Maybe I'll do it over the course of a few days so you guys have a few ideas of what I eat because I feel like it's weird when you do like morning, noon, and night. I don't eat the same thing morning, noon, and night. And right now, let's just get into it because I've been talking forever. First thing I'm going to make is a smoothie. So I go in with frozen bananas. I have some orange juice. I have cherries and berries. Um, frozen fruit and I also have mango frozen fruit. I also have a cup of orange juice but I have now switched that out for oat milk so this is now out of date even though it's only been a week. I did not realize how much sugar was in orange juice so now I'm going with something else. Now I put on almonds, goji berries, and vanilla granola. I'm gonna eat my smoothie or take a bite of it. Don't mind the background noise. Mom is watching Mori, I think. It's so good. Mm. My mom's talking trash in the background. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> now it is dinner time. It's six o'clock, and well, or dinner or lunch. I don't know. I got. I ate my breakfast pretty late. I ate it like at one. This is really bright. Hold on. What I do is I take the oven, but I set it at four. 50. Right now I am making baked fries and I'm not going to add any salt or pepper. Usually I don't because I dip it in a sauce after. But right now I'm just putting it in a sort of like glass thing you can put in the oven with some aluminum foil and that's probably about half a teaspoon of olive oil. Some fries and what I'm going to do is lightly spray it with canola oil and then I'm going to place it in the oven for about 20 minutes and they should come out relatively crispy actually so this is the tiki masala curry with green beans um, shrimp kidney beans spinach um, something else is in there too I just can't remember right now onions right all right guys so I figured it out I figured out the lighting I changed it to um, from fluorescent to the indoor thing I'm gonna go eat my food before it like gets cold. And it's so funny, the thing is, cause I always eat honey mustard with my fries that or like this, some other sauce. And anytime I do that, people are like, you know that's unhealthy for you. And the same people will eat like chips and Doritos and ice cream and they'll eat cake and all that stuff. And I'm just like, but let's just go back to eating the meal that I wanna eat. So I actually, I forgot to film dinner. So I think I'm just gonna turn this whole thing into what I eat in a week while dieting on quarantine. Yes, that's a long sentence. It is Monday. So actually it's probably been like almost a week before I filmed, okay? So I wanna do a realistic of what I eat in a week. A few things are going to be left over because especially now that we're quarantined, um, I can't afford to just be like wasteful and throwing things away. So we're just gonna hop right into it and hopefully you guys can see what I'm eating and enjoy it and be like, girl. I'm blabbing on, let's get into this. Now we're on to the next meal, which is a curry. We have turmeric, we have garlic and pepper, we have curry powder, we have olive oil, we have coconut milk, we have ginger, cumin, and honey, and garlic is there somewhere. I'm going in with a teaspoon of olive oil. I'm going to put in the onions first. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna put the whole thing in because I don't have any time. We're gonna stir things up, and this should be on medium heat. Have another pan, which I put in a half a tablespoon of olive oil and raw shredded chicken. So we're going in with salt. We have curry powder. That is Moroccan powder, cumin, and we have turmeric. So most of these should be under a half a tablespoon. The only thing that is a full tablespoon is the curry. There we go, curry powder. We're gonna put a medium amount of that seasoning on the chicken. Um, just because we're gonna go in and add it to the other vegetables, which we are doing here. And as you can see, I went in with a fourth teaspoon amount. We're going to go in with one fourth cup of coconut milk, which should be about 110 calories, if you're wondering why I chose the one fourth 
cup okay so we want to cut back on the calories and if you want to cut back even more you can use a low calorie um, coconut milk we're just checking on the chicken right quick it doesn't appear to be done and we're gonna add some pepper it's weird because they kind of look like eggs at this point and you know what I'm actually not a huge fan of eggs these days so I was cooking this I was a little bit like ill we're adding the chicken eggs into the veggie and the coconut milk and all that and we're mixing all that creamy goodness together and you can see it's nice and thick it's moving around only a little bit so now we're going in with honey so honey I only wanted to use half a teaspoon of um, just because I don't want to go overboard and I know a lot of sugar can create visceral fat so that is the full amount it is two cups if you want to know and two cups is pretty much the entire pan um, not two cups two half cups and right here we are looking at my leftovers which I didn't realize I had so much left so I randomly cooked this whole meal for no reason when I could have just microwaved everything that is everything that I would usually eat for either dinner or lunch in this case um, lunch only because I skipped breakfast this time also after I did have a handful of green grapes and that's pretty standard for me to snack on either green grapes kale chip thing but as you can see i'm not eating like a normal sort of standard uh diet which would probably be a lot of like you know lettuce and um salads and stuff like that so you'll see the rest of my meals as we come up but yeah i'm just wanted to show you um that and i do want to say that you can see how i measure things whereas before i didn't really measure things out before i just kind of eyeballed everything and i think measuring really just helped and took things to the next level so if you are having issues with managing that sort of thing i highly suggest you know getting some like measuring cups teaspoons you know half cups etc it'll it should just help you overall in general especially if you don't like calorie counting which personally I don't like but I do think you probably should be aware of the calories in certain things and like I said I'm gonna go take that walk and I will be back for the next meal so it's basically like snack time for me so I just walked for like I don't know maybe an hour or so and I'm eating almonds I already ate three of them but I grabbed like five almonds and here's just two of them I don't know I just felt bad because you guys already saw me like not eating grapes and I am snacking so this is what I eat in a day. So I have five almonds and a handful of grapes. This is my hand. It was full of grapes. I'll give it 30 minutes and then I'll go downstairs and I'll cook my second meal. Okay, so we're gonna do a lighter meal here. We have some spinach, we have some fish, onions, we have some carrots and asparagus, as well as kidney beans. Now what we're going to do is throw the asparagus into the pot and I'm pretty sure I sprayed it with canola oil. What I'm doing here is adding black pepper because you can't go wrong with that and some Morton Idolized salt. Keeping it very simple because we're going to add some sort of seasoning dressing later so I really don't need um, to have a whole bunch of seasonings going on. Right now, I'm gonna add the spinach to the bowl so I don't have to do that later. And we're adding the asparagus, which took about a couple of minutes to cook into the bowl. Now we're gonna go back with the canola oil and we're gonna add some dark red beans, about 120 calories per one half cup, which is the amount I go in with. So this is two one fourth cups. And we're gonna add a little bit of garlic and about a one-fourth tablespoon of salt or is that one half either way whatever it is to taste I don't like to add a whole bunch of salt to things what you see here is adding more carrots and the beans into the bowl now we're gonna go in with the fish I believe this is salmon but it could be codfish I'm not sure so that seasoning that we had earlier in the day we're going to use that on the fish and we're just going to dump the rest of that in there with that garlic still in there and we're going to throw in some scallions and let this thing cook as you can see here it has cooked it took several minutes if you're wondering how long this take now cook it until it looks something like this now i went ahead and cut everything up because i wasn't going to eat it in full that way i'm not a cave woman i just can't be eaten that way and i'm just adding that to the bowl the little salad bowl that i have along with some fresh scallions which i've sprinkled on top what this sauce is is basically cucumbers and garlic basically 
with the yogurt and the yogurt is actually peach yogurt so things are really really sweet which is not ideal but it's there so overall this is the finished product and it's completely and totally delicious it's an awkward angle because i'm a little bit taller than my camera so if it's like looking down it's like not the best angle for me and i won't lie guys i did munch on some like my brother has some fries that he made earlier. I like to eat while I eat cook, and I also has some more grapes. Yeah, and that. Yeah, and that. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, this is great. I wish I wasn't so tall. You guys don't even see it, but like I gotta squat a little bit. So, um, my stomach got a little bit messed up from eating the smoothie bowls like two times in a row yesterday. In a row. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Um, two times in a row. Okay, I'm done. Um, but basically my stomach got messed up from that and I'm going to be eating pancakes instead. Even though I was having like a flour fast for till Sunday where I was going to eat some tortillas or whatever, but I'm still going to eat those because I haven't had potato, sweet potato tortillas in a while, so I'm still gonna do that. But let's just get into it, let's jump. We have bananas in the bowl, two eggs, ground cinnamon, and wheat flour. So we're adding the flour into the bowl with the bananas, and we're taking the egg and we're separating the yolk because I only want the egg whites, basically, because I don't, I wanna reduce calories. And I'm adding some cinnamon, and then I'm just mushing up the bananas, and I'm stirring away. So this takes a little bit of patience, but you'll get some strong arms, and you can just look at this as exercise. So we're just letting it sit there for a second while I sort of add oil to the stove, and now I'm putting in that little batter mixture because we know we're gonna whip up some pancakes. This is one of the meals where I actually measured out the calorie count and it was around like 250 something for the pancakes. You wait till you see the little bubble on one side, then you can flip them over. Um, your pancakes may turn out better than mine. At some point, I decided to throw in some shrimp and some scallions just because I realized my meal was just so small and I realized I'm an adult, I can't eat baby amounts, right? So this is Calypso, some mango sauce. It's really good and I'm going in with two teaspoons, which is 60 calories, which I just showed you and I'm just gonna put that on top. So what we have here is some pancakes with some shrimp and I've added a bit of chocolate on top. That's around 60 calories or 50 and I melted the chocolate. Now I'm just eating away and it's completely and totally delicious. So I didn't have any sort of syrup or anything to put on top that sweet. All I had was chocolate. Normally I use dark chocolate but all we had was milk chocolate, okay? So I'm still a little bit hungry so I'm going to eat some peanuts and that is that. It's really hard for me to just focus and look at the lens. I just feel like it's weird. It's like I'm almost making like eye contact with all of you. And so I tend to dart my eyes. So if you see me doing that and you're like, what is she looking at? I just do that, okay? So I have finished my first meal of the day and I'm very, very not excited. I mean, it's not really that exciting, but that is all. I got to get back to work. And then after that, I'm going to go for a walk and then, you know, maybe we'll film another meal. Who knows? Like I'm trying to see how many meals I can get in this vlog, but it's, it should be under like 500 calories. I would think 504 calories. Well, okay. Got to put yourself in that caloric deficit, which is super annoying because you're just kind of like hungry a lot. Okay, so this is less of a meal and more a drink. You know, that Dalgona coffee that's been going around. I can't even pronounce it right I'm trying it but with less sugar I'm using strawberry sweetness to get that sugary high so I'm filtering out the sweetness from the strawberries now I won't lie I actually messed up this recipe but the footage after is going to explain how I fixed everything so I'm adding instant coffee and I'm adding way too much this time but like I said, I'm gonna let you know how it changed up the game later. All you have to do is keep stirring until it gets to this thickening amount. And it actually looks really pretty and really, I don't know, cute? Can you say cute as a word for coffee? I made two different cups. So the 2% milk is for my mom and the oat milk one, which is the darker color one, is for me. Very pretty, right? Yes, you guys, I've remade this um, what's it, Dalgona coffee, I remade it. Last time I put too much coffee in it. This time what I did was I 
added less water to the pot which was boiling the strawberries about one fifth of the pot was filled with water. I put it in a cup bowl this time, a cup bowl, coffee mug this time, because I wanted a small amount of milk, even though oat milk's pretty low in calories. And also this time with the strawberries, I added two packets of Splenda. In the mixing bowl, I added one fourth teaspoon of honey. So I'm definitely all dressed up for no reason. This is 100% a waist trainer. Pretty much what it normally look like with the waist trainer. This is me without the waist trainer a lot more fat to suck in. That is a one of my cheat meals. I didn't show you how I made it because this isn't like a cheat meal video. It's supposed to be like what I eat to lose weight. What I ate was a shrimp wrap and I made everything from scratch. Except for the shrimp, I didn't catch the shrimp myself. I'm so corny. The flour is wheat flour and potato. For the shrimp, I used pecans, honey, cloves. That's what it was. It was clove, powder, salt, Moroccan sauce and cumin and also a little bit of the mayo. So the mayo is the first time I've ever made mayo. I didn't realize how much oil and stuff went into mayo. So making things from scratch is also another way for me to experiment and understand things and sort of modify things to fit a healthier lifestyle. So I highly encourage everyone to make things from scratch and you can easily try to see how to find the healthier version of things because next time I will not be using that much oil to make a mayo. I'm gonna look it up to see if there's a way to make mayo without so much like oil. And my oil was a strawberry ginger um, oil, strawberry ginger mayo. So the strawberries I made earlier for the Dalgon Ghana coffee, I just inserted that juice into the mayo. So it was a little bit sweeter and a little bit tangier because of the ginger. So it's a very, very, it's like no mayo I've ever had before in my life, but it was probably the best thing I'd ever tasted. And it sounds like I'm bragging or I'm like patting myself on the back here for like making something good, but it was good guys. It was so good. I put cilantro on top. I had white onions, carrot. I'm seeing if I'm missing anything. No, I think that's, Everything, like I said, every week I sort of change things, I modify things to see what works, what doesn't work. My goal is to ultimately, well, lose weight, but also trying to pick, 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 have a diet that's like conducive to the lifestyle I would like to live for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna end this. I've shown you a different bunch of things. Um, and 